Hi there, I'm Jim, I'm the iBrook Fishery Manager and welcome to iBrook. During the summer months, places like Ibrook you heat up quite quickly. So you end up with water temperatures of 21 degrees plus. So the only way to really catch fish is get down deep. So today we're going to be covering fish and sinking lines so that you can get out there and fish in conditions like this and still put some fish in the boat. Hello, I'm Tom Bird, Drake Manager and also deal with all the tuition across the sites. Today I'm going to be looking at the lines we've been using out on the water and give you a bit of an indication about how to target the hot weather. So obviously the fish have dropped deep, they're a cold water species so they've dropped down in the water looking for that cooler, cooler water. As a result as fly anglers we need to go and find them and get down to them. Obviously most anglers will reach for the fast sinking lines with a popular option being the airflow booby basher. This is 55 foot integrated shooting head that's cut back to suit the rod. It's 400 grain sink rate so it's about a die 8 and it really does go down like a stone. The good thing about it being a shooting head is you can cast a long way with it. However, some anglers don't like that style. That's when I would reach for the full sinking line, the Rio Fathom. So it's all sinks, sinks at 7 inches a second and it gets you down there if you can't quite aerialise as much of the running line on the shooting head as possible just about to head out in the boat and we've taken the water temperature and it's currently sitting at 24 degrees. As a result of that the fish are going to be deep so we're going to be targeting the main basin and we're looking to get as deep as possible and keep our flies down there. I've set up a booby basher which uncut is 55 foot of 400 grain sink rate with intermediate running line. Because I'm casting it on a 7 weight I've had to take about 8 feet off the front so the head length is 47 feet to cast off this vision still manic. Then what I've gone for is a leader length about the length of the rod and then I've gone for a weighted tungsten olive zonker and that'll get down below the line and I'll be able to draw that up and hopefully keep it on the fish. I'll probably chuck vary how long I'm going to leave it for but I'm going to start with leaving it out there for sort of 20 seconds before I start retrieving and hopefully we'll get into some fish. Yeah, I'm just leaving the booby basher to sink at the minute. Trying 40 seconds with a little snake, just keep it all the line to get see if. So on that retrieve, I've just had a load of takes, load of rattles, but with the roly poly, the key is just to keep going. So chuck that out there again. And now all we're looking to do is just to leave that, don't retrieve it, don't do anything if you, you just want it to drop down nice and deep. So we'll try. 30 40 seconds again and see if we can get any takes it's about 35 and then we'll just start that nice roly-poly Yep. So what I did there is I just sped up into the take just to make sure that he properly taken it. And what we want to do with this hot weather is fight the fish nice and hard and get them to the boat as quick as we can. Then keep the fish in the net. Pair of forceps so I don't even need to handle the fish. As you can see, he's still got plenty of energy. Just calm yourself down. You'll be back in a minute. 
Hmm? There we go, hooks out, just leave him for a second to revive in the net and then just let him swim away and I've never actually needed to handle the fish at all there. Right, let's get another. So we're going to look at the rod I've chosen today for using the booby basher. I've gone for the Vision Still Manic. The reason I've gone for this is it's seven weight. I tend to use seven weight, so all my lines are seven, so hence why I've gone for the seven. And it's quite a nice, fast, light action rod with lots of power to be able to deal with the booby basher. I've cut it down. I've taken about eight feet off the front to suit a fast action seven weight rod. So we've already had a take on the booby basher, letting it sink for 30 seconds, just a little jab as it came back up. So we'll just keep replicating that in the hope that something takes it. So the hang mark is just there at five foot. So just bring it up to the hang nice and gently. No, no follows, so out we go again. Oh, what a pull then. Oh. How did that not have it? Oh my days. Jesus. Did you see the rod go then? Oh, come on. Unbelievable. That was deep, that was really deep. I've not even got to the black bit. That's oh, got to be 30, 30 foot down, 35 foot down. Get me in the boat nice and quick. Try and keep the fish in the water during this hot weather. As I've already said, our water temperature's around about 24. You can just see that black snake in his scissors. He's took that really deep down, probably about 35 foot, 30 foot, something like that, just on a little roly poly. I'll just quickly get him out of the net to unhook him. Straight back in, give him a couple of seconds to recover, and he swims off strongly. Get some more. On the deep buzzers, and that is deep. So 
that one's taken a size 8 buzzer and a 20 foot leader fishing on a long midge tip so as always in this hot weather try and keep them in the net get the hook out and get them straight back in the water So while we're out in the summer months, if you've caught a few fish and you want to take them home for the pot, it is pointless using some of these little mesh bags and hanging them over the side. Yeah, they're great when it's cooler conditions because they are up close to the surface and it will keep your catch cool, but it's not that great for the summer periods. So for the summer periods, the best thing to do Let's get a hold of one of these rubberized bags. We do have a selection of them in store, so if you don't have one, pop in and see us. Some of them will come with a zip on top. It's nice and rubberized, so you just put a little bit of the water in there. And then, to keep your catch fresh, chuck a couple of little bottles. Don't fill them up. Chuck them into your freezer, get them out as ice blocks, and then in the morning, put them straight into your bass bag. That way, when you put your uh, catch in there, it'll keep them fresh throughout the day. And then, if it's a competition, your fish will be a hell of a lot fresher when you go to weigh them in. On top of that, if you're going to be putting a lot of water in, and you do a lot of competition stuff, the Witchwood Easy Drain Bag It's a good size for getting your fish in there and it actually has a drain off tap. So when you're going to the scales, you can drain all the water off before putting your fish into the scales and then you don't end up with water everywhere. So that's the top tip. And if you don't have any of these little bottles of water about, get yourself down to one of your camping stores. You can pick up the little freezer blocks for chucking into your box or one of your bass bags. It'll keep your fish fresh for the duration of the day. Keep yourself hydrated, keep yourself covered up and go out there and enjoy yourself even in the hottest conditions. Hi Brooke, Jim speaking.